Good morning, welcome to the 2021 Facebook Hacker Cup. Uh, this is round two, and this is a solution video to problem A, runway. In this problem, we have a bunch of different models, and then we also have a bunch of different rounds. And in each round, every model is gonna get up on the stage, or on the runway, and they're gonna show some outfit. Now, you have a series of outfits you want displayed in each round. So maybe in the first round, you want outfit three displayed twice, and outfit two displayed once. Uh, the order of the which models are wearing which outfits is an important. The focus is on, on the outfits, not the models. Uh, in round two, maybe you have outfits two, three, and one, and so on. Now, since you only have n models, your models are going to have to change clothes. And you want to minimize the number of times the models change clothes in total. However, you have one trick up your sleeve, and of a, I guess that's a fitting metaphor, because that's like for magicians, right? And a classic trick in magic is the quick change. So you're, you're starting with some outfit, and then really quickly you take your outfit off, and then nobody noticed, and all of a sudden you're in a new outfit. So every model can start wearing uh, up to two outfits. They can wear one outfit, and then they can wear another one underneath their outfit if they want. And that means the first time that they change, you don't have to pay for it. So the first change for each model is free. So you want to figure out what's the best way of having your models display these outfits so that the total number of changes that you need is minimized. Um, the total number of changes that you have to pay for, I guess, not including the quick change. So how do we do this? Let's go through an example first. Um, I'll show you one possible way of allocating and then possibly how we can improve with some optimizations. So one thing we might do is we might have this model here use this three, maybe she uses this three and then this three here. Uh, and then maybe we have this, this first actress go to this two and then this two here uh, and this three here. And then finally the, the last model has to do everything that's left over, right? So she'd have to do this one, and then this one, and then this one. So in total, if we did this, the first change here would be for this one. So we wouldn't have to pay for this, even though this is a change. But we would have to pay for this. Uh, this model doesn't change, doesn't change, doesn't change. This entire model, we don't have to change her at all. Uh, this model has to do a quick change here. And then we have to pay for this change and this change. So this method of allocating models to positions has a total cost of three. Um, but like I mentioned earlier, we can do better. So we have these two models here. Uh, this, this model in outfit three switches to outfit two. This model in outfit two switches to outfit one. We know this model is going to switch. Um, and we know this model is going to switch. But we can make this model switch to the one. And this model save her free uh, quick change. For later on. So we can have this 2 stay going to a 2, and we can have the 3 switch to a 1. Now the 3 still has to use the quick change here, but this 2 now has the quick change for later on, which means we get this one for free. We still have to pay for that, but we get this for free. So now we've improved our cost from $3 to just 2, just 2 changes. And yeah, that's, that's the solution for doing this, this example. So there are two observations that we need to solve this problem. The first is we want to do this, exactly what I mentioned. So anytime you have a model who has the ability to stay in the clothes that she's wearing, it's beneficial for you to do that. Right? So if you have a three, and you have an unallocated three in the, previous, in the previous round, you might as well have this three go to that three, if you only have one of each three. Now the question is, uh, that that kind of solves the problem, but we're still left with one other, one other place, or one other decision we have to make. What if you have multiple threes in the previous round and one three here? We know this needs to come from some three. Uh, that's pretty clear from this example we did on the right. But it isn't clear which three this should come from. And it turns out, the only thing that matters in this case, is we want to come from a three or who, who has used the quick change. right? Because one of these threes, if it's not going to go to a three, maybe it has to go to a two over here. If we have a three who has a free change left, we might as well expend that change on this two. Because we know we have to use one change here. Um, we might as well use a change we don't have to pay for if we can do so. So yeah, that's the, that's the idea here. We'll choose whichever three uh, to go to the two that has done fewer changes in the past. Uh, and then we can, we can do that. So we can simply build this graph and then simulate it and count for each model uh, how many times does this model change. And then we'll pay the cost of either 0 if it changes 1 or fewer times, or the cost of n minus 1 if it changes n times. 
Um, yeah, that's the basic idea for this. To implement this, you can coordinate compress and then use arrays, and I think you can do that with uh, without a log factor on this part. Uh, just a log factor for the coordinate compressing if you sort. Uh, we're going to do some Redick sort stuff if you're really into getting rid of the log factors. Or you can just use a hash map or a tree map, uh, and that should work as well. And then you can either use some sort of priority queue, or you can observe that once you've changed once, uh, it doesn't matter how many times you've changed, it just matters whether you haven't changed at all uh, or have changed at least once. So that's the solution to problem A. Hopefully that made sense, and hopefully that helped you solve the problem. If you would like a different solution, you can read the editorial on the official contest website. I'll have a link to that in the description. And if you want to check out some code, I'll have a Java solution written in the description. That's one that I wrote, which matches this idea. Uh, and then I'll also link to the, the contest where you can see the official solution written in C++. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the contest, and have a great day.